How About That Cigar is proud to bring you coverage of the 2023 PCA Trade Show, all brought to you by Don Doroteo Cigars. How about that cigar? Guys, it is finally time for PCA 2023, and we are so grateful to be here in the Aladino Cigars booth talking with Vivi Aroa. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. Thank you for coming by. Um, we just opened our booth this That's morning. Right. You're our first interview of the day, so excited. Fresh yeah. energy. Yeah, I know. It's it's you, you, you get rolling in PCA, the retailers start coming in, yeah. And it's just, you know, the, the energy is crazy today. It's I think it's going to be a fantastic show. I agree. Uh, I love the fact that it's it's still warm here in Vegas, but it's not like 125. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. 105. It's still warm, but so much better. I agree with you. So much better. So talk to us about what you guys are featuring at this year's trade show. So this year we have three new cigars. We have a line extension in our classic, which we launched last year. So to anniversarize, we launched the classic in a Lancero, Ooh, or as nice. we like to call it, the Elegante. Yes. So part of the, the fascination and the, the inspiration behind Aladino's the golden era of Cuban cigars and Lanceros are so iconic of that golden era of, of Cuban cigars, 1947 to 1961. And because we've had huge success already with the Lanceros in our Cameroon, our regular Corojo, Maduro, and Vintage line. Yes. It felt like a natural progression to introduce it in the classic. So, great cigar. I think you you get a little bit more of intensity than you do in a Robusto because you're smoking more wrapper. So I'm excited for to see what you think on this cigar. Absolutely. Then, for the first time, Ever, we're doing a one-time release limited edition cigar which is here it uh, it is a Cameroon blend with some other varieties of tobacco which my grandfather is choosing not to disclose at this time yeah but all you need to know it's a Cameroon blend this has been something him and my dad have been working on for a while it's part of a larger project on as part of my grandfather's journey to release his 85th anniversary cigar. So this is one of the cigars that were contenders, let's say. Yeah. Um, so okay. you can expect to see a few more of our cigars from our archives to be coming out in a few years. But as I said, one time release, we made 600 boxes and that's it. Available at PCA. Um, so quite hard to get. Yeah. And then we have a completely new cigar with Sumatra. We started growing Sumatra around the same time we started growing Cameroon in 2016. But we've never used Sumatra yet in any cigar. Right. So now we're releasing a, a limited edition Sumatra, which may or may not be like part of an ongoing production. This okay. year we're, it's going to ship in October and it's available for pre-order now. There's no limit on how many boxes retailers yeah. can order. And it's something totally different from the rest of Aladino because it's a bit bolder, punchier, still has some of that like bitter sweetness that Sumatra has. And the box design is a lot more modern and it's the first box that does not have the Aladino picture in it. Oh, really? So it's different. It's okay. different. Yeah. It's like it's a younger side Taladin. Yeah. Still very classic. Yeah. The bands remain the same. Yeah. But um, we can take a look at the box later. And what? Um, so and I'm sorry if you mentioned this already, but what uh, Vitolas is this one going to be available in to start? Oh, Toro. Tor okay. Toro, and so is the limited edition. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Um, and Sumatra wrapper, like you said, first time, but and and I'm excited because I love Sumatra wrapper. I have, yeah. I always have. And um, to, to have that wrapper on, on with the name Aladino, I, I think I'm it's not just speaking for myself. Yeah. I think a lot of people are excited for yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's gonna be good. Yeah. So what what are you, as, as I mean, I know the trade show's just started, but you know, throughout the course of the year, what are you guys hearing from your retailers 
uh, as far as the reception from their customers and um, you know what what they are telling uh, those retailers about them loving Aladino cigars and those relationships. So what we've seen is a lot of like very organic and grassroots growth. Um, yeah. You know, since we started as a company, we were kind of like very modest in our marketing. Very, yeah. it's very, it's what it is. It's like you have to smoke the cigar, and the cigar is what, and the story, and the experience while you're smoking the cigar is what yeah. has helped build our brand. Not yeah. the, like needless to say, like the people and our relationship with everyone as well, but. Yeah. Um, We've seen the brand gain this like, like, really good momentum. Good. Uh, lately, which is great, um, yeah. both in the U.S. and in international markets, we're definitely trying and, you know, with the feedback from our retailers and our sales team, we're trying to do a lot more initiatives that make relationships with retailers more special. Yeah. So we have three Aladino lounges and we launched a lounge exclusive cigar, which is yes. a cigar only available at the Aladino lounges. Okay. But uh, consumers can also purchase it by contacting these lounges. We're doing different type of event packages and yeah. have an event only cigar. So, you know, all these things are exciting and it gives it like a fun twist to yeah. to the brand. Um, Absolutely. And the Aladino Lounge is a great example of how we co-created the entire concept and the blend with our lounges. The box was designed by one of the shop owners because he's yeah. a graphic designer as well. Uh, also very new, very young, a bit more geometrical. And the blend was blended by them and my grandfather in Honduras and my, and my dad as well yeah. back earlier this year. Nice. So, yeah, you can expect to see some younger things in the in the coming years. Um, yeah, more limited editions. I think we're at that right stage where we can do so. Yeah, yeah, it's it, and it's really been great to see the growth of Aladino, to see the progression of Aladino, uh, and and there you you really do have the the basis covered for the preferences of different cigar consumers. Exactly. Strength different wrapper types, all that is covered. So, yeah. and it's been exciting to see, and we just look forward to a great year for you guys. Thank you. And cannot wait to, uh, you know, try the new stuff. And uh, for you guys out there watching, talk to your local retailers if you want more information about Aladino. And, uh, you know, if your retailer doesn't carry them, just ask for it, you know, that's all you guys have to do and uh, make sure to try those Aladino cigars. Uh, and until we see you guys next time, be sure to burn cigars and not bridges. We'll see you again soon.